Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are a first time viewer, I'm so glad you stopped by. And if you're a returning viewer, I'm so glad you came back. Today I have here oh, a very large box <laughs> um, from Craftably. Craftably is a small independent shop run out of Texas and the owners are very genuine down-to-earth people. I have loved watching every interview that has been done with them through other YouTubers, content creators, and such. And um, just, I really think they're a great part of the crafting community as a whole. And it's not even just diamond painting. They have a number of different crafts, some of which you will see in this box. So what is this big, huge box from Craftably? Well, Craftably is doing a huge sale right now. As of today, it was still ongoing, although supplies were getting limited. And I was able to take advantage of some of these steals. And I got to tell you, I got some great, great deals. And I'm excited to show you the haul that I got. Um, just to let you know ahead of time, most of these things actually are intended to be gifts for other people. And knowing that, I'm sure you will understand and forgive me for not doing a full unboxing of some of these items. Just because it's going to look a little weird if I give people a pre-opened gift come December. So that I wanted to make clear right up front. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to open up this box. It is, it's a big box. It's actually larger than what I thought it would be. Um, it was much too large to be able to hide from my husband. Let's just put it that way. Particularly when I was not home when this box arrived yesterday, there was no disguising this purchase. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and move this box a little bit out of the way. Oh. And we'll reach in and I'll pull something out and you will see what it is that I have. Okay, so first, very carefully packaged in a vacuum sealed poly mailer type thing. What is this material called? I oh, can't remember what it's called. But anyway, um, that's really, really nice. Just makes, just, you know, that extra, extra added consideration. So I need scissors now. Open this up. Maybe open this up. All right. <laughs> I did finally get that open. I think I better just leave the scissors out just in case. So in here, and again, this is all from their huge sale that they have going on right now. I got some paintbrush. It is a five paintbrush set. This set is made specifically for watercolor. Uh, I may have, <laughs> I may have made some poor decisions for myself. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I also bought some watercolor paints. Um, Back in the day, I used to do some watercolor painting, and I really, really enjoyed it. I found it very relaxing, and when I saw that they had all these watercolor supplies on sale, next thing you know, I'm buying everything for watercolor painting again. <laughs> like I said, I may have made a massive mistake. It's not like I have time to pick up watercolor again, but I just... I saw all this on sale and I remembered how much I truly loved doing it. Oh, this is a brush cleaner. This is actually for um, more acrylic paints. I mean, watercolor, obviously, you just wash off with <laughs> water. Um, and then I did also get a cotton watercolor black premium paper right here. So super duper nice. I'm not sure how these papers come apart. Where? You gotta carefully, they're all kind of stuck together, which is nice because it keeps them um, 
together really well. You know, you don't get bent edges, but um, a little bit harder to pull it apart. So yeah, I got all these watercolor paint items. Like I said, that may have been not the wisest decision for me, but I just, I, I remember how much I loved watercolor and it was on sale, right? So I got all these, plus of course the paintbrush cleaner. All right, then in here, oh, it was buried behind that one package. But look at this lovely, lovely note. This is so, hello, thank you for supporting our family business with your order. Our customers mean the world to us. We appreciate you more than you know. We hope this purchase brings a smile to your face. Craftably yours, Amy, AKA Crafty Wife. Isn't that lovely? That is so, so lovely. And then on the other side is indeed my invoice um, with everything that I got. But that is so nice. Just how kind. I mean, that kind of customer service, you just don't see that. You just don't. All right, so this was not... No, I guess it was on sale, but I bought just a single telescoping tube. If you remember back in the day, Craftably, all of their diamond art kits did come in these telescoping tubes. They discontinued that about a year ago. Um, but I have my oldest, if you are not aware, is quite the artist. And I thought she may actually find this convenient for this coming school year. So I went ahead and I bought this for her as kind of like a back to school item. So I have this and purple is, she loves purple, purple and pink. She's in some ways like so girly and in other ways, so not girly, <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right. And then, oh man, I don't remember getting all of this necessarily. <laughs> Here is just, this is a partial drill kit that I got. It is, of course, Starry Night. You know, everyone is familiar with this painting. Honestly, I've always wanted a Starry Night painting in my collection. And so when I saw they had this one on clearance, it's just a partial. It has a bunch of different special drills and rhinestones in here. Um, and it's not very large. I'm trying to find, they may not tell me. This is an old product of theirs, and so I don't think it gives me the information on the outside of the box for size of the kit and stuff. Um, I might open this one up, though, and we'll look at it together, especially because special drills in there, and I'm kind of curious about the partial drill kit, what that looks like. So even though I always wanted a Starry Night painting, I thought maybe I would actually gift this one <laughs> to somebody, but now... I kind of want to open it up, so this may not end up being a gift for anybody, after all. Hello. You don't know this, but I had to step away for a minute. You know, children. <laughs> Especially, I have several of them, and it's summer, so they're all still home. But I am back now to continue with my unboxing. And actually, while I was absent, um, I gave my oldest daughter the purple telescoping tube, and she seems really happy with it. So, good I'm excited she has she's starting high school and so she has some high school art classes that she'll be taking this year and just seeing her walk around in middle school with this handmade portfolio thing out of poster board I thought oh this might be a lot more convenient for her so she seems happy that makes me happy all right but moving right along and speaking of telescoping tubes here is another one so this actually does contain a diamond art kit in it because this is one of the older paintings that was originally housed in a um, telescoping tube like this. This one you will notice is a little bit different. Instead of having, you can hardly see this. Once I get the plastic off, we'll be better. But instead of having it printed on here, branded with being printed in white craftably, this is actually part of the plastic in here. Um, otherwise, you know, it's the same, same telescoping too. Um, I will go ahead and we're going to open this one up right now. So the end just comes right off like this. Boop, boop, boop. And then inside you 
pull out the painting. Um, and it still comes in protective plastic. So if you notice, it was in a box, plastic over the tube, plastic over the canvas. It is a very well protected canvas. Now, I've talked about it before. I'm not a huge fan of all of the plastic and waste that can kind of happen with this hobby. But the one time when I'm always okay with plastic is when my canvas has been put inside plastic. I have had other orders arrive through the postal service that have come to me drenched and ruined. And the plastic is gonna help prevent that. So then you gotta try and get the tape off, which we're just gonna use my scissors. See, I knew to not put them away. Gently lift this up from the canvas. The canvas is very, very soft. I have other items from Craftably. Their quality is fantastic. Even with, you know, some companies when they start, when you get their older kits, the quality may not be quite like what you're used to yet, but even their older kits are, oh yes it is what I thought it was. But even their older kits are still really, really lovely, lovely quality. So inside of here, those are all of our drills, but here is a sticker sheet. And this is what I got. It is the Watcher. I loved this painting, 20 by 20 inch square. So that's about a 50 by 50 centimeter size painting. I just thought it was so pretty. 41 colors are in here. Their ABs are listed at the very end. Otherwise, they do use your standard DMC code, with each of these being individual stickers. And as you can see, there are five ABs in here out of the 41 colors. So this is a lovely number of colors. Gorgeous kit. Um, I don't typically take the time to take out drills from my kits just because I think it takes up time that most people really are not interested in viewing the colors individually. So instead, I can just show you through the plastic bag here. At the bottom here are our AB drills though. Look at how pretty these are. <gasps> oh my goodness, those are so pretty. Those are gorgeous. Now, if I were doing just an individual diamond painting reveal, I would take the time to pull out these AB drills, show you where those are going to be on the canvas. We're not going to do that this time. Instead, this is about just moving forward and showing you all the awesome goodies that I got on sale from Craftably. And inside, you do have a little bit of a like how-to manual in here, kind of gives you an explanation of things, tells, us that, tells you a little bit more about their um, business. Um, but we will take a minute and look at the canvas, which again, it is, it's a soft canvas. It feels great. It is on par with other high-end diamond painting kits. Um, because it is a poured glue canvas, you can roll it backwards and that will not affect anything. It is still, it's still really trying to roll a little bit. I do promise and assure you that in time, this would smooth out and flatten really, really nicely. Um, but the canvas is super high quality. It's soft, it's thick. It does have your special scalloped edging with your little pin dots in here to prevent fraying. Um, you do have legends on both sides of the canvas, which means more to some people than others. For me, I don't ever use these legends on the side, but for other people they do. And so having one on both sides is really helpful. They do have a guarantee um, down here on the bottom that's listed, as well as social media information is posted down here at the bottom as well. And this is the painting. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I think it is so pretty. I was very excited to get this one. So this is called The Watcher by Katrina Coltas. And yeah, I'm just so excited. So, so excited. And I don't know if this is in stock anymore. Um, but I will, of course, link to their website. And if I can, I'll link directly to their sale, too, in my notes below. And you can go check it out for yourself. 
and hopefully find some good, good bargains for yourself. This kit, I was thinking I'd probably keep for myself, but um, we'll see. I mean, at some point you need to, you need to start giving stuff to other people, right? Like, <laughs> like at, at what point do you realize that my hobby has kind of taken over and I now own more things than what I will ever be able to reasonably consume? I'm not sure. Um, or, or do you just take the approach that the collecting of the items, like yarn, for which I do own more yarn than what I could ever hope, to be able to knit up. Um, but at, at what point do you just say that the collecting of the items that are essential for the craft is in and of itself a hobby? At what point do we say that? I feel like I'm at that point. I feel like I'm at the point of saying I also, in addition to diamond painting, I also collect diamond paintings. There, I have now just justified everything. So if um if that argument is gonna help you win any kind of a fight or domestic dispute that you may have, feel free to use it yourself. Okay, so moving right along. Oh hey, um I have another one in a telescoping tube. To be completely honest with you, I really thought I only ordered one old kit in a telescoping tube. So this is like a huge bonus. I'm actually really excited about this. Um, I love these tubes so much. And I was both sad and completely understanding when they decided to discontinue the tubes. I mean, it, it really, it made complete sense to me. And honestly, how many telescoping tubes does a human need? I, except maybe... Just like collecting diamond, maybe you can have a telescoping tube collection too. I mean, who's going to limit and say what you can and cannot collect, right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, so here we go. This is another purple one, but it is one of the older ones again. I didn't show you on the pink how it's right in there in the plastic. Craftably diamond painting going to open this one up. So I'm excited. I'm not sure which one is in here because like I said, I thought I was only getting one tube. Oh, that's right. Toolkit. And I forgot to, <laughs> I did notice um, there was another little toolkit stuck in the box separate. This was supposed to go with the pink telescoping tube. Um, so their toolkits are the same and I will just show you what they include. They are wonderful, wonderful toolkits. So in this one, I have two things of washi tape. I love the washi. You know what? I have started using washi tape to wrap my presents with. Um, it started because I didn't have regular scotch tape. And I think it may have even been my son who said, well, I have my, my special tape. And I didn't know what he meant. Well, he meant his washi tape that I had given him at some point. And I realized he's right. Why not wrap my presents with washi tape? Uh, talk about adding the little extra, you know? Especially, I do have a lot of washi tape. And I don't actually use that much when I diamond paint. Um, so yeah, I've actually started using it to wrap gifts. Just, just saying, there's no reason why you can't. You also have in here, this is a um, cover minder. I got a little white rose. It comes in a little container here, which is nice. So then it doesn't just like stick to everything else. You do have a branded little plastic tub in here with one or two wax patties are in here. It looks like there's one, which is more than enough to complete the painting that I received. Beside that, <laughs> you have more in here. So then, and the other little bitty thing here you have. Boop, boo. You do have your very standard drill pin here with, of course, another plastic um, oh, plastic grip thing that I got on with no trouble. There are two more pieces of wax in here. 
which these are not dead wax pieces. They are nice and soft yet. Dead wax is what I describe wax that has been dried out. I just call it dead wax. And these are not. They feel great. You do have an additional multi-placer here. So it looks like you have about a three-placer and a six-placer um, that you can change out on the other end of your drill pen. A pair of tweezers. These are craftably purple. And a drill tray. Oh, look. Actually, there is yet another multi-placer hiding underneath the drill tray. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but this drill tray has sparkles in it. I don't remember their drill trays having sparkles. I don't know if you can really see that though, but that's fun. So yeah, this is actually more than what you need to be able to complete this diamond painting. So that's actually really, really exciting. I'm going to move my camera just a little bit here if I can, because I keep noticing that I'm not quite in frame. Um, but super generous kits. Um, I I do end up using almost everything in here. The only thing that I don't actually end up using typically is these drill pens. I don't really use anymore. But it's not uncommon for me to actually use a drill tray that came in a kit. Um, so just, yeah, I mean, really nice, nice, high quality kits. Even this plastic bag is branded craftably. And because the kits really are the same, all that we'll do is I will open this one up to show you what my extras look like. And by extras, I mean the washi tape. Oh, guys, this is great. Look, look, it's holiday tape. Oh, I can use this for Christmas presents. All right, I got to start like a um, Christmas washi tape pile. Because then I can use all these on my Christmas presents. Yeah, I just decided that I'm just using washi tape now for <laughs> wrapping my presents. And then um, this cover minder did come to me broken. Totally fine. I mean, you just you glue it back on. Be sure to clean off the old glue first. Trying to attach glue to glue does not work. So um, remove the old glue. And then you can go ahead and use a hot glue gun and reattach the magnets to that. So just um, a little tip there. Don't ever try and apply glue over glue. It's just, it does not work. So take the time to clean that off. And then you can just hot glue that right back in place. So those are the extras with this particular kit. Otherwise, everything else is identical to the first one. All right, but now to see which painting this is. And again, in plastic. Thank you, Craftably gonna go ahead and open this up ah. and that really nice soft canvas again which is not strictly necessary so if you receive a canvas from somewhere and like it's thick and the edges are really nicely taken care of to prevent fraying but you're like but it's not soft um don't freak out you don't strictly need a soft canvas to have a high quality canvas okay I do want to point that out because there are companies that don't do the soft canvas but they're still a very high quality canvas however the soft is really nice like <laughs> it just feels so nice I'm gonna gently use my scissors again yeah I'm it's like all exciting because I don't know which kit this is because I just thought I was getting the one in the telescoping tube Oh, okay. So I really debated about this one, but in the end, I decided I liked it too much to not get it. <laughs> so check this one out. Bluebird in the Daisy Meadow by Melinda Hipsher. I think that's how she says that, Hipsher. Um, a 12 by 16 inch painting. It is round drills. I forgot to point out with my last kit, um, the drills, but this is a round drill kit. Look at the number of colors, though, in this really quite small painting. 49 colors, okay? 49 colors. On top of the 49 colors, not only do you have two AB drills, but you have another special drill in here, too. I'm trying to think, LZ, what would that stand for? I should know. I wonder what that stands for. But it's this. It's the crystal. 
luminescent. I don't know. I don't know what the LZ stands for. I'm sure if Amy watches this video, she will comment and she'll let us know what it stands for. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. But it, it is this crystal drill is what it is. So that is so pretty. Um, also, I forgot to point this out too, but their kits, somehow the drills are labeled, letting you know that if you need to store your canvas and your drills separately, you don't need to panic about having the drill separate from the canvas because it is very clearly labeled that this, these are the drills for this canvas. Um, always helpful. Really, really appreciate it. The other thing that I really, really like that I did not mention is these are already in little bags. So if you wanted, this is pretty much kitted up for you already. And you could start painting directly from these bags if that is what you wanted to do. I greatly appreciate it when the drills come in bags already because of static purposes. <laughs> um, I like it when they come in the, into the individual bags because I can actually slip a piece of dryer sheet in here ahead of time and that will help with the static. It also is easier to pour from these bags than from the little plastic um, runs. Not, not like runs, like what comes from your body, but... Um, <laughs> uh, those, I don't know, like plastic chains where all the bags are like put, I don't know how, you know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> Those, I always find it's harder to pour the drills out of there when there is static. Just makes more of a mess. So I really love when they're already bagged up like this for static purposes. Same little pamphlet thing. And then let's go ahead, we're going to roll this backward and just take a little moment to look at this canvas briefly I know I really debated about this one and I I don't know why because I I loved the painting I really have a thing for birds and for for birds and for wooded or meadow type scenes um I always have. And so, I mean, it's no coincidence that I do live in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in the woods. I really do love that kind of nature setting. And so I'm a sucker for any kind of diamond painting that displays that, you know, that which I already live in. <laughs> um, so yes, so this is, this is just such a cute little painting. I love this one so much. This one definitely, I will be keeping this, I will be doing this one. Um, it's just so pretty. And because I want to, we're going to actually take a moment. So number 49 is your crystal drill. And this is the symbol we're looking for. And that symbol is found up here in our bird. So I'm trying to... I'm not, you know, at my desk because this was such a large unboxing. So it makes it harder. But all of these are that crystal drill. This is gonna be so pretty. That little bluebird is gonna look so stunning when he's done. So yeah, I'm really excited about this cat. <laughs> this one may have been my favorite one that I ended up ordering, even though I had debated about getting it. And I, like I said, I don't, it's because it's me and I'm crazy. Um. <laughs> But yeah, I love this painting. I'm so excited to have it. And it, it came in a telescoping tube, which is like an extra bonus. I mean, this was just a win, people. I hope, I hope this kit is still available. And if it is, go get it. You will not be disappointed. The, again, the quality is fantastic. I love that image. Just if they have this, go buy this kit. It's just so good. All right, I think we got to be getting pretty close. I mean... Maybe. <laughs> All right, I got a couple more things in here. All right, so here, <laughs> this is another diamond art kit. Violet icing. This is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith, if you are not familiar with that style of painting. This is another one that I don't want to unbox because this is one that I thought I would give as a gift. So I'm leaving this one alone, but it is a 12 by 16 inch round painting. I just felt like this was a really, really good kind of introductory size for 
a friend of mine who is definitely crafty. Um, so someone who I think could probably attempt a slightly larger diamond painting than like your little nine by nine inch starter kits, but still not a daunting size or anything like that. And it's a fun image. You know, I love the dragons. I just love her pink eyes. Um, really fun, fun canvas to do, I thought. Round drills. So this is a gift. So we're going to leave this one in a box. I'm still not decided <laughs> about if I'm going to open up Starry Night. Sorry, guys. I'm just not sure. Um, like, I'm really curious. I really, really want to look at it. But I did get it thinking gift. Because it is a partial, because there are the special drills, because it's not that large, I was really, truly thinking gift. So... The better part of me, even though I do want a Starry Night painting for myself, the better part of me is saying, let's leave this one alone. My day will come when I will get a great Starry Night painting and I can show all of you that one. So we're going to leave this one in the box too. Because these were the two that I bought intended to be gifts. So we're going to we're gonna leave them alone. I'm going to be good. Going to be good. All right, and then finally, I bought two of these. Now these are gifts as well. I have this and I have another one identical to it. I got two. We will go ahead and we will open up one because one is for my youngest daughter and the other one is going to be for my niece. So certainly the one that is for my child I'm not as concerned about opening up. <laughs> uh, and she, under she understands too. But Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. My youngest daughter, she weaves. She's big into weaving, which she taught herself how to do. She also loves clay. And she makes some of the cutest things with clay. And so what this is, we'll go ahead and we'll just keep opening this up more. <laughs> Again, it's for my kid. But this is a polymer clay kit and included in here, supposedly, well, this is everything that's in there. So there's all that. Um, tells you like how to deal with it. Okay, here, I was gonna say, I thought that there were some examples for things to make with the clay. So, and she's always looking at examples of other things. And then she uses the knowledge she gets from looking at how they make these shapes and stuff to create her own kits. Um, but she does a really good job. So here's all the little extra accessory pieces. My oldest, no, my middle daughter also does a surprisingly good job with clay. So I would not be surprised if she ends up doing some with clay too. But this was... A kit it was on clearance this lid is it's a I don't know if you can see it the lid is a little bit busted up it is cracked and stuff um which again, this one's going to my kid I might check out the other one but I'm not I'm just not concerned all of the clay is individually wrapped so even if with this being it's not like it looks like it's more cracked than what it is the cracked it's cracks itself are not actually as large as what it appears but, you know, you just put a little bit of tape over that. And even then, this is still totally usable as is. So, super cute. Oh, this was going to head to Hold on. I have to put this back in here. <laughs> um, so, I got two um, kits identical to this clay cat. So, one for me. No, not for me. One for my daughter and one for my niece, who I don't know if she is going to be into doing anything like this. But it just seemed like a really good gift idea for her. <laughs> So, all right, so I got two of these. I got the four diamond paintings. Plus, of course, I gave in to my old self and bought myself some watercolor supplies. And that was all from Craftably. I mean, it was, I got so much stuff for, I don't remember what I spent, guys. It was maybe $145. Because I added on the extra telescoping kit for my daughter. So I think it was. I think it was $145. I got the four diamond paintings. I got the two 
clay kits, I got my watercolor supplies, and I got the extra telescoping wand for my daughter. That is a phenomenal deal. There is no other way to slice it or dice it or talk about it. That is a phenomenal deal. So I'm going to link to them in my notes. Definitely, please go check them out. Uh, great customer service, great products. All right. So thank you so much for, for joining me with this unboxing. Um, I loved having you here. And if this is something that you enjoy, please, you know, maybe stick around, check out some other videos, please subscribe. I love comments from all of you. I do take the time to read them and I do reply. I love hearing from you guys and getting to know you. And having said all of that, I guess it's time to end. And so I'm just going to encourage all of you to practice kindness and all aspects and all avenues of life. Just be kind to show that little bit of extra patience towards someone because you never ever know what someone is going through. And I hope that you are also having a wonderful day and I will see you again real soon.